Alexis Sunshine 83, it's always sunny here. Hey Sunshiners, Alexis Sunshine 83 right here. So yes, we are back finally with a, another Solving Your Styling Dilemmas video. And it's actually part six, which if you've never seen this type of video from me, number one, you should subscribe because we have a lot of fun here. Um, and also number two, basically I asked on my Instagram or I did make a dedicated email address. So if you did have Instagram, you were still able to submit pieces from your closet that you don't know how to style. And I try to style it. I feel like sometimes when you have a piece that you just can't figure out how to wear, it's great to have a fresh pair of eyes to kind of spark those creative juices to flow and inspire you to maybe style it in a way that you had never thought of and give it new life. Similar to my previous videos like this, I will be using items from Depop to create these outfits and all of those pieces are actually saved in a collection on my Depop called Styling You Part 6. But of course, please use what's already in your closet. I'm just using Depop pieces because it's easier to create outfits and also if you do want to purchase any of them, they are secondhand. Okay, now that we got all of the specifics out of the way, let's get into styling. The first one comes from Justine and it says, I bought this skirt to wear to a Marina and the Diamonds concert because Marina actually wore the same one during her Electra Heart Tour, but now I'm stumped on how to incorporate it into my daily wardrobe. I really like the style, but the pale blue color is hard for me to coordinate with. I've actually been listening to the Electra Horror album recently when I've been working out. I don't know. I think it's a great album to work out in. But anyway, this skirt, very cute. And it is literally, I mean, obviously she said it in the email, but Marina did wear this and it was a two-piece set, very pastel, very just like frilly and that kind of thing. I did get a lot of inspiration from kind of ballet core and frills and more of those pastels kind of leaning into them. Not too much, but in a way that you can like complement the pastel blues because it seems to be a high-waisted skirt. I wanted to pair it with something that was cropped and I like the idea of leaning in with like a baby tee crop top. Another way to kind of lean in to the pastel without being like super pastel, if that makes any sense, is going for some sort of white cami. There is kind of some lace on this and it has more of a like sheer tool material at the bottom from what it seems. And so I think it would perfectly pair with any type of satin silk little cami top. Or even if you have a little like white puff sleeve top with it. That would go great. And you can then bring in color if you want, obviously, with like a little cropped cardigan. So I found this purple one. But if going colorful is not the route that you want to take, you can even pair it with some sort of lace black cardigan. With that, you can have some fun with color with shoes. Again, these ones are pastel, but oh my God, look at these Jeffrey Campbell floral shoes. Like, Tell me these are not the most beautiful shoes in the entire world. I think they would look amazing if you did go more of the white lace with the skirt route. That could be another pop of color and it's playing with the pastels, but again, not being super pastel because it's just on the shoes. I am trying with this specific styling dilemmas video to not make as many variations. A lot of times I leaned into that because I was nervous that you would hate the outfit. So I'm trying to be more confident in my choices and try not to be like insecure with my decisions with these outfits and yeah I just felt really good with my vision that I had and I kind of just ran with it. We next have a pair of pants coming from Holly and she sent me a couple different ones but I felt really drawn to the specific pair um but she says I have some styling dilemmas you can choose any of them that interest you. She didn't give any information as to why she is having issues styling them. So I kind of had free reign with it, but I chose these frog pants. 
or I guess they're like lily pants and they're just so fun. They're just so cute. I love the colors. They seem to be kind of like a velvet material, but I can definitely understand with them being quite whimsical that they could be a little bit difficult to style. I will say the way that she styled it just in this photo with these black flats and white crop top, I think is actually pretty cute. So that would be an outfit I would have created, honestly. I actually got a lot of inspiration from this Instagram reel I had seen. And I kind of based a lot of the outfits that I created with these pants off of it. But my first instinct was honestly some sort of vest, like a sweater vest, a green sweater vest, or a brown vest. And I thought that could be great because again, she seems to like more kind of basics styling and a vest is a really nice addition because usually it's completely plain. The pants are doing all the talking, but you are having a layering aspect involved. I did also find a bunch of different like white tops that you could pair instead. If you are like, oh my gosh, I'm totally sick of wearing the same white basic crop top. You can go for something that's still white, but has a little like additions, little, little details in there. You can also then liven it back up with a fun jacket or any of the vests that obviously I mentioned, but I found a bunch of different jackets as well. Again, getting inspiration from that Instagram reel. So I tried to find green ones because I was like, okay, if I go for more of a frilly top and then a green jacket, like that would looks so cute. I didn't really play two and two the pink that is on the lily pad on the pants, but I did find this cardigan and I think that would be really cute. I also found some green sweaters because I figured green sweaters would be way easier to thrift than a green like patchwork jacket. So I have a bunch of different ones that you could either just wear again with what you're wearing in the photo, just on top of it or paired with any of the white frilly tops. I also had this striped one that I was like, hmm, this, this is an option. This could be a cute option. I got a lot of inspiration also from the art ho aesthetic fashion on Pinterest. Yes, I literally searched that because it has more of those would they be primary colors? I don't know, deeper tones that very much just kind of reminds me of that aesthetic fashion that was really big a couple of years ago. And from that, I found this crew neck that has a sunflower on it and it has the green neckline. And this obviously doesn't perfectly match with the pants, but if you had some sort of crew neck that had like a little bit of detail of green in it, you can just throw it right on top of it. I really like how these outfits came out and I would have never thought to put all of these together. I probably would have stayed kind of like in my comfort zone with what she is wearing in the original photo, but I really like adding those extra pieces to kind of liven up the outfit a little bit. This styling dilemma piece comes from Ella and they say, I recently thrifted these dunkarees. They are a little bit big on me. So I do have to wear a belt. The only way I can think of wearing them is with a white jumper. They did include their personal Instagram for me to get an idea of what their style is and they like color. So it definitely makes sense these overalls being in their wardrobe, but I can also understand how it can be kind of intimidating, especially for how bright they are. But I tried to take a lot of inspiration from what their style is and also find pieces that they seem to already own that they wore in other Instagram photos. I do really like how the model was styled with these Lucy and Yak overalls. It's very fun, very much reminds me of Valentine's Day. So I did get some inspiration from that by trying to find different types of turtleneck sweaters in different variations of colors and patterns. So I have this really bright hot pink one. I have this striped one, even though it's like another pattern with it. And again, especially because of how loud the pattern is, I think you can still get away with going for more of pastel patterns to pair with it. They also state that the overalls are a little bit big on them. So going with a kind of like chunky sweater will fill out the space a little bit more, but also you could go for a just pink top, like a pastel pink top. And I found a couple of different ones that I thought could be really adorable under it. Some of them do have patterns. So again, just depending on your personal taste. I did also find just a white normal crop top that you could wear under it and then play a little bit more around with the belt situation. You could then put on a pink cardigan to again, pick out that pink in it. One thing I've really enjoyed with overalls is actually putting some sort of like puff sleeve or like off the shoulder piece with it. I know 
it doesn't seem like it would go with it, but it actually, at least in, in my opinion, it does. And so this pink one, I think would be so cute under these overalls. Autumn, I am, I am busy. I completely lost my train of thought, but yeah, this under it, that would be super cute. Another kind of random option, if you don't want to pair it with just kind of like pastels, is going for black and white, which I know that seems kind of odd to do with these overalls, but I think a black and white striped sweater under it could add another pattern but at least it's black and white so it does kind of pair and it is a lot but if you actually go on the lucy yak instagram account they do that a bunch with a lot of their bright colored patterned overall so i got again a lot of inspiration from them i'm definitely going to be quite basic in the shoes for th this outfit just because again there is so much going on i'm thinking just some white sneakers to kind of like keep the colorful and like brightness aspect of the outfit but if you are like okay this is a lot of bright kind of going on going just with some black boots would be totally good as well this one i was very excited about because it is a popcorn style 90s top this one is from sammy and they didn't really give me any information on why it's difficult for them to style all they all they sent was a photo of what it looks like when it's not stretched out next to a toothpaste so i felt like i had a lot of free reign which sometimes can be good but also bad because then it's hard to like focus in the first thing that came to mind was overalls i know i just did some overalls but this is like adding overalls on top of it i don't know i just love the idea of putting overalls on top of a popcorn style top i think it helps in kind of covering it up a little bit and also it's kind of a weird shape sometimes like you either have to tug it in or have something over it and so overalls are a perfect option because it is pastel and i'm really into bows i found some bow frilly skirts again can you see a theme for shoes i saw these heart boots and it's very specific so i don't think you have this in your closet but if you do that would be very <laughs> fun but even just some normal black boots i think would be totally perfect please let me know again with any of these outfits that i create in this video if you would style it differently so we can all get some inspiration and again having someone's like different perspective can be super helpful but i feel good with this and surprisingly now i want a pastel popcorn top <laughs> okay i actually have something that's not pastel and is is pretty outside of my comfort zone honestly this one is from becca she says i bought this tan leather skirt in 2020 and still haven't worn it because i have no clue how to style it and it seems like it is a leather like tan skirt and it has like a drawstring on it and yeah this one i wanted to do because i was like how how would i style this i got a lot of inspiration from matilda jerf just because it is more of that neutral tone i kind of wanted to play with the neutral tones with it but also have some pops of color since it has the drawstring on it i was like okay I don't really want to style it with anything where you would have to like tuck it in and then kind of like tuck it out in a way like I would want it to be very sleek so I was thinking like a black bodysuit I found a couple different ones in different variations and because having that item be so simple with a skirt you could pair it with a colored jacket you don't have to you could totally go for just like a brown jacket or a black jacket but I really really love brown and blue together and so I found a couple different blue jackets as you see with one of these blue button-ups I was like wait black and white do kind of go with it and so i found a bunch of different black and white tops that i think you could pair with any of the blue jackets that i chose with the tan skirt i know it can be a little bit much so definitely i don't think it's everyone's cup of tea but i wanted to add some sort of pattern that still stayed in the neutral palette if you didn't want to go like the colorful route or maybe you do but you want to do it in your shoes you could stick to again that neutral palette by going with a cross sweater so I was thinking a brown cropped sweater I found a bunch of different ones cropped brown cardigans and I think going for a darker brown because the skirt is kind of like a 
tan cream with the skirt being a midi length. Personally, I like to pair more of like longer boots with that type of length. So I have found a bunch of different ones and a bunch of different colors. If you did want to show some leg, you could go for more like colorful little kitten heels. I found some purple ones or just going simple with some white ones. But of course, a tried and true is just some black loafers. Again, if you wanted to keep it more like no colors, just very sleek, maybe some white socks with it. I'm gonna do my best with the name in this next one. Andrian, Andrian. I am so sorry. I, I even Googled it and everything. Beautiful name. She says, I have this vintage robe that has a two button closure at the front, puff sleeves and a sheer top layer of fabric. It's adorable, but I can't seem to style it for these reasons. It's not actually sheer because it has a lining. So it does cover part of the outfit underneath. It is very, very beautiful. I am jealous that you own it. So I very much want you to wear it because it is so cute. And again, of course I can't help but be into pastels you guys kept sending me stuff that was pastels okay this is not my fault it is yours i had a lot of kind of inspiration photos of that i was thinking not even to like specifically copy but again just to get inspiration again she said that it does have a lining so whatever we put under it you won't really see so something i kind of kept in mind i really saw a lot of draping a lot of kind of the lacy floral like if it's gonna poke out at the bottom i wanted it it to have a purpose or be an interesting fabric or just kind of something to pair together. The first thing I thought was obviously some sort of white slip dress. Again, it won't be shown, but I'm like, okay, we still have to wear like clothing. And this is to really make the robe kind of like shine in a way. And you could pair it with some sort of like fun tights or colorful tights, colorful pastel tights and that kind of thing to still give it something. And kind of jumping off of that, you could take any sort of like maxi skirt she didn't mention a maxi skirt but any type of maxi skirt that you have again with some sort of pastel pattern gives that same thing that i just talked about and i even thought of going for just a mini as well since you can't really put anything on top of the robe an option i thought could be fun if you paired it with any like white skirt whether it was like a maxi or a midi or even a mini is going for some sort of lace long sleeve so you would wear it under the robe and then it's going to poke out on the arms and even on the neck and also another silhouette especially when she mentioned it not being super flattering you could put a bow like take some ribbon and just create like a bow belt like that would stick to the pastels and i think would go with any of the options that i have shown and another way which i feel like may not be like everyone's favorite but i think going for just a white tank top and straight leg jeans and then some just like little heels i know it kind of then gives dresses and jeans but i think in this case because it's that sheer even though it has a lining and you won't be able to see what's under it it still is something very like soft and just putting it with a basic i think is really cute again i definitely understand with this one being such a difficult one to style especially with it not being sheer a lot of times a sheer robe like this will kind of just be like an addition and this one very much is like the star of the show but i think leaning into that and pairing things that complement it will help you hopefully wear it a lot more kind of another challenging one for me is this skirt from jess which she says i bought this vintage midi skirt about three months ago but have only worn it once or twice and i love it so much it's very whimsical and colorful but i'm having some issues with it it. number one it is too small but she can't find it in any other size and she really loves it so she's just trying to make it work but says that she would like something where it would cover her stomach where it gets a little bit tight second is she feels that it can give a little bit of like going to church type of vibes with the kind of just shape of it and she wants to edge it up a little bit she also mentions that our fashion sense is very similar and that she's okay going outside of her comfort zone like with vests and sweaters because she did mention sweater vests i kind of started with that and i wanted to go for longer loose and kind of those deep primary colors so i kind of stuck with orange and red when it came to the sweater vest to kind of pop out from the skirt and with any of these you could just wear a normal white top under it or you could take from the colors that are in the skirt to wear under it but that could be a little bit loud now i did want to try to find some top options 
but I wanted them again to not be crop and also to not hit a certain way on the waist. So I kind of went for the loose kind of like peplum style tops. I found this red satin top and here's my thing. I see this on top of a white top or you can wear it by itself either one, but I think it adds the like necessary edge that she had mentioned in her email that this skirt kind of needs. I also have some black leather blazers. I think that is a perfect option for this skirt. It's a great way to kind of like edge up, darken, kind of add a little spice to an outfit. I mean, a black leather blazer, obviously. You if you watch me, you know. And I think going with some sort of black platform boot is going to like, perfectly like be the cherry on top. I did also think, and it could, it could be very fun, but again, it would depend on the fit of it. But I was thinking a sweater vest, but a pattern sweater vest, but in the colors that are in the skirt. So this one, I don't know. I totally see it with the skirt. It is a little bit cropped. So I would definitely put some sort of long, long sleeve under it or a top. So then again, it kind of covers. You could even do some sort of top that has like a lace at the end. So it kind of pokes through. And I really hope these different outfit ideas help you and give you inspiration for the skirt because it is so cute. And I think really playing around with different types of silhouette of tops would be super helpful. And maybe going for more of those like loose peplum ones to cover it. Or of course you could just go for a long t-shirt. That's always an option. This piece actually comes from Becky Bay. And if you remember, I actually bought thrifted mystery boxes from her. I don't know if she does it anymore, but love her. She's great. And she sent in this jacket and says, I thrifted this blue Calvin Klein ruffle blouse slash jacket almost a year ago. It absolutely cannot be worn open because then the flaps just flail about weirdly. Since it's very light, I've thought about layering it under something, but I just cannot seem to style it right. And I definitely, do, oh, let me just give, give the moment, especially with the little bow belt. Like, are you kidding me? This is one of the most beautiful things ever. I found a bunch of different skirts that I think you could pair with this top. Again, obviously depending on what you already own, but if you have some sort of pastel floral skirt and no matter what length as well, I think you can really play around with the lengths, especially that bow I feel like you have to wear it with the top like it just is the perfect addition something that I don't know how I came across it but I was like wait what if we had some ruffled pants and again very specific I don't think most people have this in the closet I don't think I've ever even seen it but I saw these pants on Depop and like my heart was taken and it definitely is interesting it's different than I think I would normally style this, but I just really liked the idea and especially it being this like pastel peach pink color. I also have these blue, they're actually handmade by this Depop seller, these handmade blue kind of like satiny pants. It was just another option and I really like the idea of pairing a satin silk shiny material with this blouse. I'm calling it a jacket, but it's like a blouse, a blouse jacket. If you wanted to add something under it, obviously it kind of steals the show, but you could put some sort of like frilly turtleneck. So it's kind of poking out from it, but you could also go kind of ham with the accessories and the necklaces. Shoes, I was really kind of like not really sure with it because I probably would keep to it being pastel, but could go for some chunky black boots. You could also find some like floral type of shoes. I think again, with it being pastel, you can kind of have fun with any type of pattern if it's pastel. Again, this is in my opinion. I just love this top and I like feel like it's my mission that hopefully you now will have different ideas on how to wear it. Again, very specific, but I think especially with then all the pieces paired together, a great way to style it because it deserves to be worn. It deserves to be worn. Alrighty, thank you so much for watching and thank you for everyone that submitted their pieces. I will be doing another one. I'm not gonna wait like four months later, I promise. I am gonna be doing another one quite soon and I'm just gonna take from the submissions that I've already gotten just because I got so many amazing ones and I would have loved to do like all of them in this video, but that would be like a three hour video. Also with the next one, I would love to do it with another creator. So let me know in the comments down below who you would love to see me collab on this video with. I probably would have to do less just because it does take 
like many hours to find the pieces and especially if we both are talking and all that but I think that would be a nice way to kind of like add spice a little bit to this series and yeah if you like thrifting and secondhand fashion make sure to subscribe right down below and hit the little bell so you're notified every time I make a new video and also don't forget to follow me on Instagram which is alex and shine 83 I will see you in my next video and I hope you have a super sunny day bye